Hello and welcome to another episode of Dick Small Engines and this little episode we're going to have a butcher's at decompression valves, how to remove them, what their purpose is and what to look for if they're failing. Right, there's our decompression valve there. Now the whole idea of the decompression valve in a nutshell is to decompress when you're pulling the engine over, therefore making it easier to start. This is a Husky K760 steel saw. You see them on the K750s, the steel MS660s, 880 chainsaws. All they do is there to, to make life easier and decompress the cylinder when you're turning the engine, pulling the engine over. Because there's nothing worse than pulling when you're trying to start an engine and it snaps back on you and you, you feel like you're going to snap your wrist. Uh, that's the whole idea of them. So when the, when the decompression valve is pulled out like so, it's, the decompression valve is sealed, therefore the cylinder is sealed, it's going to be harder to pull over. When the decompression valve is in the in position, this decompression valve is open, therefore it's allowing airflow into the cylinder to make, make starting your machine easier. To remove your decompression valve, as always, Dig small engines, bit of lube, lovely. You want a deep 30mm socket. Um, it's the only way you're going to get it. Snug her on. And gently back her out. Simple and straightforward. Let's wind her out. Like so. There we go. So, as I just mentioned there, just clean it up a bit. When the decompression valve is out, you can see it creates a seal. When it's in to start, it creates a, um, it creates, it allows air to pass into the cylinder, therefore thus making starting easier. Now, another thing when you're working on machines, if you're, your uh, spark and your compression this, the, these decompression valves are another thing to look for in terms of non-starting because the actual rod that runs through the middle of the decompression valve, that could be bent there. Therefore, it's not allowing, it's not opening your decompression valve. So these are things to be mindful of. Could just be a case of a faulty decompression valve making things, making your machine harder to start so don't overlook the decompression valve it's a very simple part but not to be overlooked you can just see i've got my endoscope in the actual cylinder you can see the top of the piston there where my index finger is you can see the little ventry where the decompression valve allows air to pass into the cylinder so there you have it in a nutshell decompression valves, how to remove them, what to look for if they're failing and their, their purpose on a um, small engine machine. If you like this little episode of Dick Small Engines, give us a like, share and subscribe. Until the next one, take care to right for now.